Hi everybody, so welcome to my video. So today we're going to be talking about core buildups with pins. So here we have our simulate patient has a mesial, distal, lingual, and buccal structure missing due a curious or probably a big restoration. But online, this tooth is going to need a crown. So what we need to do here is to fill up an EPR form with eight steps, diagnosis and treatment plan. Then we're going to realize that we need to do a core buildup with pins in order to make the crown later. So what we need to do here is place the pins. In order to place the pins, we need to create first pilot holes. Pilot holes can be created with a quarter burr, and the safest place to do it is in line angles. Half a millimeter into the denting, avoiding the pulp and the PDL space. So we're gonna go ahead and make our holes. So here we go with one, and then we're gonna look the other one right there. And that's it. The next step is to create our pin channels. All right, I'm ready to make the pin channels. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill the path of draw so I don't damage the PDL or the pulp chamber. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the distal lingual. That's it, one time. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on the buckle distal. So I'm gonna go ahead and check out my, my point of entry and now I'm gonna look up my path of draw. I'm gonna go ahead for it. That's it, one time. Now I'm ready for pin placement. So now we're gonna go ahead and start placing the, the two pins. So for that, we need to have the proper speed. Um, so right now we're gonna go ahead and take a look in the lingual and check out our point of entry and also you guys want to verify the path of draw one more time. So I'm going to go ahead and press down firmly and the pin will fracture in its own. So we're going to repeat the same thing in the distal buckle. And we're going to follow the same procedure. We're gonna, you guys want to make sure the pin follows the path of draw. And also you have the proper speed so let's do that so I'm gonna check out the path of draw entry point make sure the pin follows whatever we prepped before and we're gonna go ahead and press down with the speed go ahead and the fractures so at this point in time the two pins are placed and the next step is to do the restoration Completion of the restoration involves placement of the matrix and wedging, followed by restorative material, whether it's composite or amalgam. In this case, if it's composite, we need to acid edge, wash, dry. Apply the bonding agent, thin it out with air, and here. Then after, we're going to place the core build-up material, and um, if it's a composite base, 
um, most of these are uh, coming in dual cure still I like to cure it by layers and that way it gives me control better I use a the same procedure for the next layer and I like to use Explorer to kind of uh, spread it around um, the whole idea here is to avoid any 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 bubbles um, I can tell you how many times when you when you when you finish the prepping um, and start prepping and and you want to make the impression of the sudden a bubble in the in the in the build up will just appear out of out of the nowhere so one of the ways to minimize this is by doing by 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 layers so at this point in time it's already cured we're going to remove the wedge we're going to remove the matrix vanish